Welcome back to Johnny Reads. Today I'm talking about a topic that I think will be music to a lot of your ears because I know and in my opinion James Patterson is by far the most criticized writer today. But let me give you a little bit of backstory. So I've been reading James Patterson for maybe three or four years now. I don't really know exactly when I first started. Um, the only series that I've ever really been interested in is his Alex Cross series. But I have to tell you the reason that I've kept reading him for so long. Number one, I have not read him because he's in a, a like a writing these literary masterpieces because anybody who has ever read a James Patterson novel knows that he is not. I've never read him thinking that I'm going to get the best plot lines. I've never read him thinking I'm going to get the best writing style. I've never read him thinking I'm going to get the best anything, to be honest. But and for me, the Alex Cross series was more than readable. It was fairly entertaining. And I think I've read maybe 10 or 12 Alex Cross novels, something like that. I tried one of his other series. I didn't like it. And so I haven't tried any other ones. Now, the thing is, at this point, I don't really see myself reading any more James Patterson ever. Me personally, over the last few months, I would say, I've really opened up my reading and I've really diversified it. I've been reading a lot of classical stuff. I've been reading a lot of really literary stuff. I've been reading a lot of things, a lot of books that were utterly great. And when I go from those that not only are they great and literary, but they are very easy to read and they have these fantastic stories and messages. But when I read those and then I go back to a James Patterson novel, it's like reading a kid's book versus reading a masterpiece. And I just don't see why I'm going to waste any more time on any of his books. Now, again, he has not changed anything. Uh, his writing is his writing. You know, the ghost writing stuff and all of that. The way he, James Patterson, is basically a, a publishing machine. You know, people can say all they want about that. I don't really care about that. I, all I care about is the writing. And for me, it's just, it's just not good enough. And honestly, even when you only compare him to other writers in the genre, mystery, crime, whatever, I'm talking about what I've been reading of his. I know he writes in every genre imaginable, but mystery crime. Michael Connelly, Lee Child. I mean, he's not even close. Like he's not even anywhere near the top writers in his genre. You know, Sue Grafton. You know, I mean, um, Robert Ree Parker before he died. Even T. Jefferson Parker, who's not quite up there recently. Steve Hamilton. I mean, I can, I can go on and on. The point is, I just don't feel like I feel like I'm wasting my time by reading James Patterson. And so I'm not going to anymore. That's all I have for you today. Quick and easy topic. I know a million people that will never read James Patterson and I'm not gonna sit here and say that I don't understand why because I do. Let me know in the comments if you've ever read James Patterson and go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I do make new videos every Wednesday. I'll see you next time.